Hello everyone and welcome again to another commentary video of the Naked Fanatics 1v1 Shogun Tournament, the second edition, don't forget. <laughs> um, this time again, this is going to be Vaughn. Hello. And I, Narcos, hosting it. Um, first of all, I'm going to start and describe Rice's army for you, um, what I can see at least. So he's got two units of unvetted matchlock Ashigaru. He has got, he's put his entire army in tree, so I'm going to do my best to try and decipher it a little bit. He's got three of bow, uh, three bow Ashigaru units. One is vetted, although minimal. He has one, two, three, four, uh, five units of katana samurai all minimally vetted or not at all um, he's got one two three units of yari samurai his general obviously and he's got two units of yari cavalry uh, no one unit of yari cavalry cavalry and one light cavalry um, so he definitely went very strong in the ranged game and um, He's got quite a big army, so as you can see, he's got more than 10 units, obviously. Um, whereas Reaper is now going to be described by Vaughn. Hello, I'm Vaughn, and this is Reaper's army. Um, uh, we have on Reaper side three units of Yashi uh, Yashi Ashiguru, <laughs> Yari Ashigaru. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's all those Japanese names, and these aren't even the worst. Um, three units of Yari Ashigaru. Then we have, let's see. Tarakatsu Tetsubo Warriors and Grosan's Heim Heroines, which are, I guess, one female unit with spear swords and one unit with big clubs. It looks weird, and they have weird mops on their head. Um, and then we have a unit of Tokitaka's Tanegashima unit, which is um a sort of matchlock or rifle ish unit. It's got, you know, um the um just firearms thing going on. Then we have one unit of Boa Shigaru. Um Jesus Christ, more of these names. Yuritomo's Yabusame cavalry, um which I think is ranged cavalry. Uh then we have a cavalry unit called Kiyomasa's Katana Cavalry, which of course is Katana Cavalry, but with a fancy name. Light Cavalry, and of course, his General. I think that's it. Uh, maybe there's more hidden, but this is what I can see at the moment. So I guess we can start. Uh, should we just start on the countdown? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Okay, what's happening? So, Vaughn, this is actually quite interesting. I think they both have interesting armies. They didn't go heavy into one unit type, they just went quite balanced. Well, what, um, what Reaper did was just pick everything that had a weird name and go with that. <laughs> he did bring quite some, quite a lot of Yari, uh, Yari, um, what am I saying, uh, hero units. Yeah. Um, or at least, you know, those those special DLC units or whatever they are. Um, it looks like Rise is immediately going for the hill, which of course is good. This is a better hill than most hills because this hill has trees on exactly the right side for him. Uh, if he is to take that quickly, then he can really, really screw over Reaper's army because he just can't get there without getting shot to bits, especially with Rice's ranged advantage. Yeah, as he said, uh, it it is actually quite a steep hill, and with Rice's ranged, uh, with all his ranged units, he can easily stop Reaper from getting up there. Although Reaper could move his uh, troops through the forest and perhaps up that hill, as as we saw, um, Rice had a plan. Uh, he actually moved his units towards Reaper on that hill instantly. So I think his plan was to take the hill as soon as possible. He sent his cavalry to secure it, and now his army is moving up there. Yeah, exactly. And it looks like Reaper is quite aware of this, and he is actually moving his army back uh, quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, not that much, but just you know, keeping it a bit a bit back in the forest behind him and probably just hoping for Rice to get down from that hill because this is not a good position for him to fight in if he uh, just, you know, if he's just to advance onto the hill. 
Yeah, Reapers put himself in quite a difficult position by not doing anything. Um, which is understandable when he when he saw Rice rush up that hill. Yeah, Reaper would have been in a bad position either way. Um, looks like Rice is taking some of his cavalry up the next hill over. Uh, probably just to... It might even just be, you know, that constant threat. Even if he doesn't use them, the other army has to keep track of them all the time. Which is a bit of a stress factor. So, yeah. As you can see, Rice is moving a couple of um, cavalry units up that second hill. Probably hoping to put off a flank maneuver at some point in the battle. Hopefully, uh, you know, maybe do a general snipe or something to um, to really hit the morale quite hard. Although with all those hero units, I'm not sure how much a, hero, uh, a general's death would really mean. He would lose, you know, the numbers. He would lose the Yario Shigaru and the Boa Shigaru, but the rest would just... Oh, um, Reaper also had a unit of Yaru Samurai, it turns out. I didn't see that one earlier. Probably hidden in the forest, the sneaky gits. But yeah, um, still, most of those units would get a big morale hit, uh, but the hero units would probably just remain the way they are, just standing there, not caring about the general at all, because they're hero units. Yeah, it's quite obvious that Reaper is, does not want Rice to um, does not want to advance upon Rice, so he's probably waiting for him to come down. Oh yes, yes. This is this is the typical Mexican standoff right here. I mean, nothing's going to happen unless one of the two makes a move. But whoever makes the first move is going to be at a disadvantage. Um, of course, the the biggest advantage now is on Rice's side, and Rice, of course, is not all too happy to move because you know why would you move from this advantageous position? And Reaper doesn't want to move because, you know, whenever, whatever move he makes, it can't be a right move because his opponent is in this position. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> and as you said, it's quite a stare down right now. Yeah, I may, we may actually have to cut a bit if this uh, if, if they keep staring at each other for much longer because otherwise it's going to... Wait, Rice appears to be doing a cheeky... Hidden units, my lord! Um, you know, a flank ah. move, and it looks Reaper like brought, Reaper yeah, has two yeah. secret hidden units, and he's making use of his ranged cavalry as well, which actually have quite a damn big range, to be honest. Yeah, they have a very big range. I'm not too familiar with all these um, extra DLC-ish units, so this is new to me, and all, that range is all horse phenomenal. cavalry. Yeah, all ho horse cavalry with bows, ranged cavalry has longer range, except for the uh, musket units, of course. Yeah, obviously. I think if um, if Reaper had waited a tiny bit more with revealing his cavalry here, he might have lured. Uh, he might have been able to catch the um, at least the Yari cavalry, Rice's Yari cavalry and, um, you know, pounded that unit. Yeah, it does seem that Reaper could have gotten more from this, uh, this attack. Yeah. I think... And obviously his, his units are um, revealed now and are going to be hidden again, but Rice knows that they're there, so he's going to watch out. Yeah, the only thing that Reaper can um, do now is basically just sort of walk them through the forest, uh, further south but that's going to take a really long time and you know it will only take them further away away from the enemy um, lines so I'm not sure how advantageous that would be currently Reaper is just harassing the um, enemy cavalry by you know shooting it with his bow cavalry which is actually a good idea because as a player you have to be very Resistant to you know uh, constant damage to your troops. If you if you get nervous, you could move them into a trap or whatever. So yeah, exactly. Rice is doing a good job keeping calm. Well, well up until anymore. up until this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Reaper managed to lure them out a little bit, but it just ha not he enough. just has to keep this up. To be honest, I mean he's causing pretty big. Um, 
um, casualties to the other army, so... Uh, yeah, as you said, it, it, he only did, like, he killed 10, um, 10 troops, but they, they are heavy cavalry and thus are pricey. Yeah, exactly. It's still, I mean, if, even if he loses half of that unit, it's uh, a bit of a strike um, force that's just been removed from your army. Okay, I don't really see the point of uh, of using the flame arrows at this point, but well, why not, eh? Uh, yeah, maybe so it uh, cools down, so he has another use of it. Yeah, looks like Rice uh, is tired of waiting. Is moving down uh, his hill with his just with his range troops, by the way, N not really with uh, any other troops. Obviously, that's because the only thing that could um, beat mounted uh, mounted ranged units or foot ranged units in missile attack anyway yeah true so he's actually chasing them away now um, by putting his Boashigaru unit there and now it's still a Mexican standoff it's just a bit closer and yeah. Rise has moved two of his units off that hill and I think if he you know, if he uh, focuses fire on that um, um, strange unit, that small sort of matchlock hero unit, then he can cause some pretty pricey casualties there. Yeah, but this is a very dangerous move. His um, Boa Shigaru now far removed from his army and could be charged by Reaper's cavalry without Reaper having to put them in danger. Yeah, exactly. They're pretty far removed, though, though there are still other arranged units um, in the vicinity but still they wouldn't you know he, Reaper could indeed use his cavalry to just um, you know clear out these uh, Boa Shigaru right here yep because even if oh, okay now Rice is repositioning his missile units if I were him I'd you know, take some of my main army there as well. I mean, by this time, I actually would be like, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to charge him. I, I don't really have the patience for this kind of thing, to be honest. But then I usually go a bit more melee heavy anyway, so I by now I would have been right up in the enemy's face. Rice is now moving his matchlock units right before um, right before his Boa Shigaru um, which could be quite a dangerous move once again yeah because these matchlocks they don't really have the range and if if Reaper would have uh, would focus fire on those matchlock units then he would that would also help a bit because those matchlocks are a bit more dangerous than the um, than the bow units to be honest at least in he my could opinion also yeah, he could also wait for them to fire and then charge them with his cavalry. Yeah, exactly. When they're, but when they're he's not—he he does charge them with his cavalry. Just he doesn't ju just doesn't wait uh, until they fire. Wow, that caused that now. caused two casualties. That's yeah. that's low. I I've never seen <laughs> a matchlock unit cause that few casualties at the Our first volley. The Maybe they weren't sure who to shoot at. <laughs> they just committed suicide. Like, uh, I can't, I can't take it anymore. And now both the units have fled. This is pretty... I didn't actually expect them to flee that easily. They are a Shigaru, though. Yeah, but they were, support but they were supported that. by friendly units in the back and yeah. just charged from the front. Sure. So, oh well. They hadn't sustained that many casualties. And now I think it's just a case of charging the main lines because I don't see the range game lasting that much longer especially not with this kind of provocation going on okay which hidden units were treacherously meant to ambush us it does seem that Reaper has won the uh, stare down contests oh yeah Reaper Reaper has shown that he has patience which of course um, according to Mr. Miyagi is a very good skill to have <laughs> Rice isn't really doing anything. Right now he could be charging and 
but I think they're both focused on the infantry. I mean, on the um, cavalry battle in the uh, on Rice's right flank. I think they're just not really used to multitasking it, and they're just now focusing on that part of the fight. Now he's sending his uh, melee units forward. Yeah, and as you can see, um, Rice actually has to go up the hill a little bit. So Reaper may be charging down if he wants to right now. Yeah, uh, though he doesn't really have the numbers. He has Yari Ashigaru. Um, what he could do, of course, is use Yari Ashigaru to hold the line and use his hero units to flank around. And hopefully that would work. It seems that Reaper has now won the cavalry battle. Um, so he, he should have the... Um, the advantage in terms of maneuvering. Yeah, yeah, he has a mobility advantage right now, although he he doesn't seem he just doesn't move at the moment and there's just too many casualties sustained from the still rather numerous um unit uh, Boashigaru units from Rice. And I don't think the uh, Tokitaka's Tenegashima unit is causing enough casualties to be worth its price to, um at this point. No. Nope. Not yet, anyway. They are now being charged at, and this is going to be the end for them. Um, Reaper is hardly charging forward. He's uh, standing still, to be honest. <laughs> He's um, a, a bit passive in this regard, and his um, general is also under attack by matchlock units, which is really, really dangerous, because matchlocks are basically the bane of any general, because, you know, they ignore armor. He's now just charged his light cavalry into Yari Samurai, backed up by more light cavalry, and now backed up by his hero unit cavalry. They're all charging spears, so they're going, they're going to get pierced. Yeah, this is not going to go well for that cavalry. He could have used his cavalry to flank around and take care of those matchlocks, and perhaps also the Boashigarus. And maybe even went for the, the general. general, yeah, do a general yeah. slide because he had the mobility, as well. he had the cavalry advantage. If he'd used that cavalry advantage to go for the general, which the general couldn't probably wouldn't have been able to do anything against, then uh, he could have won the morale battle. Uh, at the moment, it looks like Reaper has engaged his general in, uh, in direct combat as well. I'm not sure what kind of um, what kind of experience you know what kind of general he has, but at the moment he's just bogged down in too much um, you know too much too many enemy units. I don't see that lasting much longer. No, it seems like Rice is going to win that uh, melee battle everywhere on the field. Yeah, exactly. The guys with the big clubs are doing relatively well. I mean, they they're holding on. But yeah, no, Rice has so much left, this is not going to last very long at all. He's, uh, Reaper is charging uh, Gosen's Heim's heroines, oh those poor women, right into the matchlocks and they are being utterly destroyed. <laughs> By matchlock and bow. Oh, those poor women. How could he have done that? Yeah, this is, this is over. Wow, the only one alive is actually the general. And now no longer... Oh no, that was not general. Never mind, sorry, I was being silly. But a hero unit anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this battle has clearly gone to rise. It really, really went into his favor. Look at how much he has left. It was a pity because I felt that Reaper had some moments where he could gotten more out of his actions. Um, in the beginning, that uh, hidden cavalry charge um, that he managed to pull off a little too late. Um, he was a little too static by the end of the battle. Um, and I think that cost him. Yeah, I think um, not using his cavalry advantage at the end there uh, to his advantage. Or he, he used it, he just used it wrong. <laughs> and um, that cost him the battle at, at the end. And of course, I, you know, while hero units are nice, never go for more than one or two of them, in my opinion, because they are really pricey, and eventually quantity will win over quality if 
the quantity is very large. I mean, your units could be very, very good, but against such overwhelming odds, even the best hero is not going to win. Yep, exactly. And with that, we're going to close off this fight. Um, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.